we stayed inside. We stayed put, grounded, waiting for the Covid storm to pass. We got bored, longing for the sky. But we did it, we obeyed. For ourselves and for the communities we live in. For months, we lived, worked and played in the same place. We kept dreaming and planning and waiting. And then the day came, free or at least kind of. Hike and fly matches this criteria for physical isolation if you choose wisely your destination. It's time to go. We drove less than one hour from home. No pipi pause, as they say in German. We drove to this amazing valley in the Jura. The forecast seems amazing for tomorrow. Back to life one step after another. A simple life, good company, good wine and mediocre food. But who cares when you have freedom and no noise but wind and crickets? It's the simple and extraordinary pleasure of little things what we miss the most. Few things are like long nights out. Few things are like the warmth of your sleeping bag when outside is cold. Few things are like sharing what you love with whom you love. <laughs> it's time to go. Time to finally stretch out these legs, to use them for something more than limping from the sofa to the toilet, from the desk to the bed. There's people out there. Physical distancing does not mean social distancing. We can be distant, but wave to each other. We can respect distances, but still feel we are walking together, sharing the same effort for the same goal. to see places, new places, places that make you feel incredibly small and incredibly alive. It's 
time to clean your sweat from your face, ready to sweat more. That is the price we pay. That and the two francs for the takeoff tax to help keeping this place as it is. People have the ability of creating beauty because people have the ability to perceive beauty in everything around us. And then it's time. Many months since last time we did it. Extra care is needed. Extra emotions are granted. You stand there, look to the air, see infinite possible routes. You focus and you go. One second and she's up. Yes, she's the other lady in my life. I feel her gentle pull right above when I check that everything is in order. One step, another. I feel that I don't feel the ground anymore. I have goosebumps as we go together for this next world with the wind. Cows fade away. I'm always amazed by the patterns down there in the field. You don't see them walking, even if you are part of them. I feel the climb as the vario chirps. I feel it with my body and with the smell suspending in rising air. If happiness exists, uh, this is it. Every nice thing has an ending. Wake up, look to the ground, study the wind, its direction, its strength. Then pick your spot and land. And landing is not the end, but a promise for the next flight.